Nearly four years into her term, the border czar may actually be starting to pretend to care about the border. Before we get into the story, I do want to ask for your help. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers, so please hit that subscribe button, leave me a comment, share the video, and click that thumbs up so that way my channel can get hit in the algorithm and explode. Only you can make that happen. Now, for Breitbart News, Kamala Harris aides tout planned visit to southern border first since 2021. She is terrified, so she's pulling out as many lies as she possibly can to pretend that she's going to do things that uh, most sane people in the country want her to do. Spoiler alert, she's a liar. She has no intention of solving any of the problems in America. In fact, her intentions admittedly will make it worse. Uh, top Harris campaign aides are weighing whether to send Vice President Kamala Harris on Friday to visit the southern border invasion. Two people briefed on the preparations told the New York Times. Polling shows former President Donald Trump trounces Harris on immigration, a top three 2024 campaign issue. If Harris does visit the border, it would be the first time she has inspected the invasion since 2021 when she traveled to the town of El Paso along the border without inspecting the border wall. Under the Biden-Harris administration, immigrants have been swamped or have swamped the border. Authorities arrested about 7 million migrants illegally crossing the U.S.-Mexico border under Biden. Uh, Reuters reported nearly 2 million known gotaways evaded U.S. Border Patrol, according to numbers released by Republicans on the House Committee on Homeland Security in April. The illegal migrant population in the United States was 11 million in 2022, according to, uh, to Pew Research uh, estimates published in July, although critics estimate those numbers uh, to be much higher. Trump has pledged to remove the illegal migrants through mass deportation, a policy supported by a majority of Americans in Ipsos poll revealed in September. And he has recently even come out and said that if the countries do not take them back willingly, he will force them down their throat with massive tariffs. Uh, the same poll found Trump holds a 10-point advantage over Harris, uh, 44 to 34%, on who would do a better job handling immigration. The vast majority of voters do not support open borders, and they feel Harris holds an open border worldview, a July Harvard-Harris uh, poll found. The establishment media have appeared to defend Harris's history on immigration because they also hate America. The establishment media called Harris a border czar at least eight times since President Joe Biden uh, charged Harris in March 2021 to lead our efforts with Mexico. Mexico and the uh, the Northern Triangle and the countries that need to or need help in stemming the movement of so many folks stemming from the migration to our southern border. PolitiFact alleged Harris's de designation as the border czar was mostly false after she appeared to become the Democrats' de facto presidential nominee. Breitbart News reported that's only because the term czar is an unofficial title. It's a colloquial term that has been used for decades. It's been used by every administration as well. It's an unofficial term, and so they can rate it mostly false because it's not an official title. Kind of like when they said it's mostly true that uh, Hillary Clinton's emails were not marked as classified because the markings are classifications, so they are classified as, for example, top secret. It's wordplay because PolitiFact doesn't care about actual fact. They care about the narrative that supports the Democrat Communist Party. In turn, Axios, uh, which reported on April uh, 2021 that Harris was appointed by Biden as border czar to visit the Mexico and Guatemala or to visit Mexico and Guatemala to address border crossings, later said it was a title she never actually had and received a community note on X for that claim. Axios posted on X the Trump campaign and Republicans have tagged Harris repeatedly with the border czar title, which she never actually had. The border czar controversy comes as GovTrack took down its page ranking Harris the most liberal senator in 2019, memory holding anything negative about Kamala Harris. As Breitbart News reported, GovTrack ranked Harris more far left than socialist Senator Bernie Sanders. And of course, they have a bunch of other examples of Kamala Harris being absolutely terrible. And she will be terrible for the country, but she's trying really hard in her absolute desperation to destroy America to at least pretend like she's not going to. Don't let her get away with it. She's a liar. She's a con artist and she's a communist. Vote for Donald Trump or prepare to be poor. Till next time, thanks for watching.